So earlier we read about the February Revolution and after the February Revolution we saw that a new uh, provisional government was formed in Russia. All right, but uh, after the coming of the Lenin, okay, Vladimir Lenin go return by Pachi, uh, he tried to overthrow the provisional government. Okay, so now we are moving into yet another revolution which took place in 1917. Okay, so as I said earlier, 1917 was a very important year for Russia. All right, there was revolution after revolution. There were many changes that came over in the political setup of Russia. So the July uprisings by the Bolsheviks was a failure uh, because the provisional government uh, suppressed them. All right, and uh, many Bolshevik leaders were arrested, and many of them, you know, they had to flee or they had to go into hiding in order to save themselves from getting arrested. Now, the biggest fear for the Bolsheviks was that the provisional government was becoming kind of a dictatorial kind of government. All right, so the Bolsheviks now began to make a plan. Uh, they started to form an alliance with the Petrograd Soviet planning to overthrow the provisional government. Okay, so they started to get uh, or seek the supporters okay, that they had in the army, uh, in the Soviets and in the factories. So all of these, you know, supporters that the Bolsheviks had, okay, army, ma, Soviet, ma, factories, ma, they were all brought together to form an alliance and they were now planning uh, ways to overthrow the provisional government. All right, uh, and on 16th of October 1917, you know, Lenin, he persuaded uh, all of these, uh, you know, people, okay, he persuaded his, his party members and he even persuaded the Soviet, okay, to uh, plan for a seizure of power, okay, that means they now have to seize the power, okay, and the power is the provisional government, all right, so the Bolshevik uh, formed a military revolutionary committee and uh, the leadership was given to Leon Totsky. Okay, so the military revolutionary committee formed Goryeo and uh, this was under the leadership of Leon Totsky. Uh, your revolutionary committee was led. Okay, and now they began to, you know, uh, organize the plan of Caesar. All right. However, the date of the event, okay, the date when the seizure was supposed to take place, that was kept as a secret. So you can see here the picture of Leon Totsky, who was the main uh, person who led the military revolutionary committee, who was uh, actually appointed to organize the seizure. So on 24th October 1917, the uprising began. Okay, and uh, Kerensky, who was the prime minister then, he began to sense trouble. All right, so he knew that, you know, there was something ro going wrong in the city. Okay, so he soon left the city in order to get his troops. Okay? All right, so to get the uh, troops, he left the city of Petrograd. Okay, because he knew that there was some kind of trouble uh, being created by the Bolshevik. So later on, the military men... Uh, you know, they came and they seized the building of uh, two Bolshevik newspapers. Okay, Bolshevik newspaper print on the main building still that was seized by the uh, military men under Kerensky. Okay, and uh, in the response to this, the military revolutionary committee they ordered uh, supporters to seize the government buildings and even arrest the ministers okay so now military revolutionary committee le, uh, you know about the buildings are seized by unako newspaper ko buildings are that the revolutionary committee le, you know after supporters are ordered the okay that you know that the government buildings are okay the government buildings like seize garnu and that the ministers are cha, they were supposed to be arrested okay so thus began the october revolution Okay, later the ship Aurora shelled the winter palace. Okay, ship Aurora with more uh, troops, they began to come. Uh, okay, and uh, the other vessels, they sailed down the Neva. Okay, the river Neva. You know, ships were sail were ayo. And Jatibani uh, military ko main main points uh, that was taken uh, over. Okay, by the revolutionary committee. And in this way, uh, by nightfall, uh, the city was under the control of the revolutionary uh, committee. And most of the ministers who uh, were arrested, they had already surrendered. Okay. 
Uh, later, uh, the All Russian Congress of Soviets uh, uh, in Petrograd they organized a meeting. Okay, they called a meeting. All right, and in that meeting, they all approved of the Bolshevik action. Okay, and uh, you know there were uprisings taking place in different parts of the uh, cities. Okay, many other cities, many uprisings were taking place. Okay, uh, in fact, in the city of Moscow, okay, there was a heavy fighting uh, that took place uh, between the Revolutionary Committee and the uh, the pro, uh, you know, the supporters of provisional government okay uh, and uh, by uh, december however the bolsheviks they were able to fully control the moscow petrograd area so there were a lot of changes that came after the october revolution okay this is a very common question that is asked from here what were the changes that were seen after the october revolution all right now we know that you know the bolsheviks has now got the control of the government okay now after they came over uh, there were a series of changes that they introduced in uh, russia okay so let us understand them one by one we must not forget that the bolsheviks were uh, the socialist people okay that means they supported uh, you know socialist ideas all right and uh, you know unale private uh, industries yeah privatization okay yeah you know uh, single ownership ko unaru jaile pani against mathyo all right so the very first uh, change that we saw was that jati pani industries haru cha the private industries that were there okay and whatever banks were there all right uh, they were all nationalized by 1917 ओके इफ यू रिमेम्बर लेनिन्स थ्री डिमांड ओके लेनिन थीसिज में याद होने वन अफ द डिमांड वॉज द नेशनलाइजेशन अफ द बैंक्स अल राइट सो स्लोली स्लोली द थ्री डिमांड्स वे ऑल्सो फुलफिल्ड नाउ ओके सो एट द बिगिनिंग वी सॉ दैट इंडस्ट्रीज एंड द बैंक्स दे वेर नेशनलाइज बाय नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन द सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट द लैंड वॉज डिक्लेयर एज अ सोशल property and the peasants were allowed to capture the land of the nobility okay so this was also there in the three demands right so jati pani land cha now the land uh, could not be a private property now okay the land was now social property that means it was now owned by the whole society as a whole okay uh, it belonged to the whole community All right, and the peasants, which is all, they were allowed to capture the land of the nobility. Okay, so nobility ko jati pani land or thiyo, the peasants were given the permission to capture this land that belonged to the nobilities. All right, now in the cities, uh, what we see is that all those big big houses that were there, they were divided. Okay, and it was given to families. according to the size okay so according to the size of the family big or small family okay unako size and unako requirement area the large houses that were there in the cities that was divided and given to the people okay uh, and uh, all this uh, aristocratic titles that were used earlier okay so in uh, russia the tipani aristocracy le okay the higher class people le jun je titles are used karte ho now uh, there was a ban imposed on this title okay so now no more uh, they could use this titles and uh, you know to assert this change okay you change like effect ma leunu ko lagi what we saw is that you know uh, the bolsheviks they also uh, you know gave a lot of importance to the uh, army or the police okay and new uniforms were designed for the army uh, officials okay army officials ko lagi uh, army ko lagi officials ko lagi che uh, new uh, new kind of uniforms were also designed uh to continue this uh the bolshevik party that was also renamed now okay so now the bolshevik party would from now on be known as the russian communist party okay so the russian communist party that is the new name for the bolshevik party the bolsheviks uh, after that they conducted elections uh, to the constituent assembly but what happened is that in that elections the bolsheviks they could not get majority votes that means they did not get uh, the uh, majority support of the people all right so that is why uh, lenin liki garyo the assembly liki garyo dismiss kari diyo okay because they were not uh, elected uh, by the majority votes they did not get the majority votes all right so lenin liki garyo uh, he dismissed the whole assembly Then in March 1918, uh, 
uh, despite the opposition by the political allies uh, the bolsheviks they made peace with germany okay so we know that you know germany and russia they were enemies okay and, they, and there was a war going on between these two countries okay so march 1918 uh, you know as uh, the bolsheviks had earlier demanded okay to put an end to the war okay so when the chance came in march 1918 bolsheviks like goryo germany sanga ki goryo peace ki goryo sign goryo okay so this is how the war was also put to an end now uh, you know in, in uh, russia the bolsheviks became the only party that could contest in the elections and uh, this is how russia became a one party state okay now only one party was functioning in russia okay only the bolshevik party which is now called the communist party only that was uh, allowed to contest in the election all right so hence now uh, russia uh, you know um, changed into a one party uh, system Okay, खाली ये वाले मध्य political parties ले election में contest करनो पायो. Okay, uh, now uh, there were a lot of trade unions all over Russia. Okay, but all these trade unions they were kept under the control of the Bolshevik party. Okay, they, that means it was under the it was functioning under the direction of the communist party or the Bolshevik party. Okay, there were even secret police that were formed. Okay, and they were called Cheka. Or uh, OGPU or NKVD, all right. And these uh, secret police, uh, they were given the power to sentence and even punish the people who went against the Bolsheviks, all right. And uh, there was also censorship that was imposed on the press. Okay, press ma pen censorship, you know, imposed gorir. You know, that means writers and authors, okay, who were actually the supporters of Bolsheviks earlier. Okay, because they believed that, you know, Bolsheviks stood for socialism. Okay, Bolsheviks are socialism ko supporters ho bani uh, You know, every people, you know, uh, in Russia, they rallied around the Bolsheviks. Okay, but later on when censorship was imposed on press, okay, that means they were not free to print or write, uh, you know, anything. Alright, so when censorship imposed by you, now people were, you know, a little bit confused by the Bolshevik action because till now they had believed that Bolshevik uh, were the supporters of socialism. Okay, they believed in socialism. Okay, and socialism or socialist ideas were very, very uh, good for the country. Alright, so that is why, you know, people had been supporting the Bolsheviks all this time. All right, but slowly and you know steadily, what we see is that the Bolshevik Party in itself is now transforming into a kind of dictatorship. All right, and that was the you know uh, kind of uh, confusion uh, that uh, was uh, now uh, instilled in the mind of people. So people were now you know uh, uh, delusioned. They were now confused. Uh, what were the Bolshevik ideals? Okay, or what did they actually stand for? So those were the different kind of changes that came after the October Revolution. Okay, so the year 1917, uh, there were two revolutions. One was in February. Okay, so February Revolution ko badma, uh, the provisional government first formed. Okay, but uh, you know uh, it did not last for a very long time okay soon after you know the arrival of lenin uh, the provisional government was uh, also uh, planned to be overthrown okay and slowly uh, the power shifted into the hand of the bolshevik or uh, which now is known as the russian communist party okay after the october revolution and they introduced a series of change in uh, russia which we have just discussed about